So I tend to do this thing where I like to start with actual characters. So I just draw a person and think of something that reminds me of ascending cholangitis. Cholangitis, cholangitis. Um, let me think. Ascending cholangitis, maybe like a colon or something. So let's say the the um, person is holding a colon. So I'm not the best drawer either. Forgot to say that. I'm actually really not. So I just make do with the skills I have, man. Got to do what you got to do in it to pass mid school. So yeah, so I'm just drawing a colon. A colon as we know it, ascending colon, transverse, descending. To be fair, I wasn't even trying to yeah and the thing is obviously you have to personalize it yourself because you could very easily mix this up with any colon disease like colon cancer or just you know any other colon disease <laughs> ulcerative colitis but then i know that i have other visual aids for those particular other diseases so i wouldn't personally get confused and if you want to see that leave a comment Leave a comment, leave a comment. So yeah, as I said, um, I've made it so this person is supposedly holding this um, colon. And obviously, um, not obviously, sorry. I apologise because I'm probably going to change a lot of things as well because that tends to happen in my thought process as well. But anyway, okay, so I've done that. So I'm going to rub that out real quick. So let's say, yeah, so that's the colon. And we need to do a ultrasound. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna act like this is the ultrasound probe. So okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Rub that all out, but we're still gonna use the same principle. Okay, so let's say we have an ultrasound right here. Ultrasound scan here. Oh. Forgive me. Like I said, I'm not the best drawer. Okay, so that's the ultrasound scan. And then we're going to act like this. The colon is the probe. So I'm just going to quickly Google how an ultrasound scan um, looks like. I know that that sounds stupid because I should know, but I'm just going to quickly Google how that sound, how that um how it looks so that i don't i mean i know i can't draw but i can at least try it you know so just like to make it look convincing so yeah something like that something like that yeah and then to be fair it's literally the other way so i'm gonna do it the other way do it the other way do it the other way well that's what it says my hands are shaking, I apologise. So, yeah, so if I take this and I pretend that this colon is the probe for the ultrasound scan, so then it's like uh, the, pa the person's holding the colon and that's the probe for the ultrasound scan. Okay. So it's a transabdominal ultrasound that we do first. Okay, so it's a transabdominal ultrasound that we do first. And then we do a CT. CT abdomen with IV contrast. That can be the next thing that's done. So, so the ultrasound to the CT. Hmm, CT. Abdomen. Usually when I do CT, I would make it like a city. So I would put outside, oops, I'll put like a window on the side, the window, and then I'll do like a city, draw like a city in the distance, like this. yeah like i said i'm not the best drawer but i'm trying i'm trying for y'all 
Yeah. And then like, could do like little lights and windows and stuff if you wanted. Just make it look a bit convincing. Well, really and truly, it's just about how you visualize things. It doesn't have to be perfect. So yeah, so it could be like the person or the healthcare professional, they were setting up the CT, sorry, the um, abdomen. Well, so you could say that the um, healthcare professional was setting up the ultrasound scan and they were like really tired. So they wanted a break and they were kind of like visualizing their break and were looking into the window at the city, anticipating their break. And then MRCP which is gold standard. So MRCP, MRCP, MRCP. Just thinking of what we can do to make that a visual aid. Um, let's think, so MR. So next after the um, CT abdomen will come an MRCP so um, it's very difficult sometimes to find exactly what you can pick as a um, visual aid but in this case I'm gonna use a literal gallbladder or biliary tree I should say to symbolize it I'm gonna act as though like the biliary tree was growing from outside into the in, from where it was growing from outside into the um into the room so let's imagine that this is the gold blood wait hold on so this would be the biliary tree coming out let's do this that's the gold bladder not a very good one let's try that again there we go and then Gosh, it's a tough one, isn't it? And then, like, just draw different branches and stuff. Just add different branches to it. Something like that. We'll do. Okay. And then ERCP will be next. But it's fine. I'll just use MRC. I'll just do that to, to um, symbolize MRCP. But if you really wanted to, you could do something like, the biliary tree forms into an M or something like that, to remind you that it's MRCP first before ERCP. Yeah. So basically, and then I like to give my character eyes, because then it makes it seem more. And a mouth as well. Hair too, but I think I want it to be a woman. But it's oh gosh, not the best hair do is it? Like I said, I'm not a drawer. Get some eyebrows. I like to do this little eye thing. Yeah. Usually I like to add colour as well. Add some colour to it. Okay, so, yeah, that's about it, just do a little ultrasound thing. I usually like to add some colour as well, to be fair. Usually colour does help with your memory. So, um, if you can, you can give them like peculiar coloured features, because that also helps to make it look more memorable. So I'll just do the hair real quick. Do, 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 do. Gosh, 
You know when you colour up your nose and you're just like, wow, what a wild animal. Okay, maybe blue jeans. It's a bit, here you go. Blue jeans. I mean, I would have ideally gone for darker. But it's fine. Don't come for me, please, for not colouring in, in the lines. It's tough. It's tough, tough, tough. And plus, I'm kind of like, I know I shouldn't, but I'm rushing a bit because I just want to show you the principles of what I do. And then in, hopefully, if you want some more, then I'll be able to give you some more content. I think I can do with a bigger one here. Kind of lazy of me, but might as well while you can with it. <laughs> okay. Very lazy of me, I know. Extremely lazy. <laughs> Nearly done. And also, you don't have to be a good drawer. If you were a drawer, then obviously it's going to be a lot better for you. But as in, like, it'll be... It'll, you'll you'll um, be left with, like, a lot better results when it comes to your drawing. But if you're not, then... As long as you know what you're trying to draw, then it's fine. Because I'm rubbish, as you can see. So, But you just have to be creative. And you guys have helped me um, study for ascending cholangitis now. So now I know you do a transabdominal ultrasound for it first. Then you do a CT abdomen with contrast. And then you do ERCP. No, sorry. You do MRCP. And then you do ERCP. Yep, yep, yep. Brilliant. So that's all I'm going to do today. Hopefully that was helpful. If you'd like some more, and you'd also like, if you would also like for me to, um, like, finish the drawing and send the final product, then let me know. But thank you very, very much for watching. I hope it was useful. Um, and God bless.